Hey there everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's good to have you here. Uh, don't really know uh, where I'm gonna go with this video. I'm, I, I didn't really have any um, idea for structure or anything like that. I just I just wanted to make a video today. Um, I know I've been uploading on, on my Snowdrift channel uh, pretty regularly. Um, and for anyone that somehow catches this video that's not subscribed to the channel welcome uh thanks for thanks for joining me uh, i don't know how you could possibly come across this video uh because i doubt anyone is searching for this type of video um but i just wanted to uh take some time to to reflect on a few things uh because starting tomorrow my life is going to change forever um and for the better i'm super excited um i'm definitely feeling some stress uh, it's it's a combination uh, between uh, work and, and some home stuff, um, but uh, it's nothing nothing serious. It's just I think it's I think it's normal. I'm not I'm not really sure, but I believe it's normal. Um, me and Kenzie are doing great, uh, and we're really excited to become parents. So um, today is the last day, a Wednesday of all days that. Uh, that I won't be a dad. Today's the last day that I won't be a dad. And that's pretty, that's pretty crazy to think about. Um, so uh, I just wanted to run, few th run through a few things with you guys. Um, just kind of some housekeeping things for the channel. Uh, so I cut the grass today and I, I really like this spot. You know, it's, this, is, this is a divide between, you know, our property. Uh, we've, we've got two creeks which you guys may have seen this uh in my you know welcome home video or whatever when we first moved down here almost a year ago which is crazy uh, but i always always like coming down here to check it out because you just don't see stuff like this um you know we're in a pretty um you know suburban type neighborhood but we do get stuff like that from time to time, which is cool. We're not very far from the drag strip. There's a lot of really cool car culture around here. But anyway, um, I don't know how long this video is gonna go on. It's probably just gonna be like a single cut straight to YouTube type thing. It's nothing super special. I'm not doing anything crazy. Um, this is just for me. This is just for uh, my daughter one day. She'll be like, you know, uh, I've probably said this before, but YouTube for me is almost like a, like a diary, a journal, if you will, of my life and all the cool things that we do. I try not to do clickbaity stuff or do anything weird like that, but I do from time to time because I have to be competitive for people to see my videos. And a lot of my videos have helped a lot of people. And some of them are damn near entertaining. I do say so myself um one thing I wanted to show you guys that we've done recently actually just a couple days ago we built some raised garden beds here and we've planted oregano squash tomatoes um and, and a bunch of other stuff we've also got peppers and onions and, and things like that I may have already said that um and a few flowers uh, we got a raspberry bush right there and a blackberry bush right there um and oh gosh what else has happened you guys are pretty up to date i'm not gonna call this an update video i mean the last few videos i've made have just been me playing doom eternal and i worked on the truck and the rsx um now granted some of those videos are a little bit older like the last video with the fuel rail install um that actually happened over a month ago. I just got around to editing it and uploading it. Um, when I put the detent springs in the transmission that you guys would have seen, you know, that video, I actually had already installed the fuel rail. If you go back and look at the video, you can see some continuity issues, which, you know, that's YouTube movie magic. Um, here's the RSX, doing good. I mean, I'm just letting it kind of air out. It's, I got in here earlier to get some of my filming stuff and it was hot. So this is not gonna look too, too much different from the way it did look but I mean 
<laughs> there it is added a couple stickers just for fun i'm actually going to end up replacing these two plastic pieces they're really faded and i want to just replace all the stuff that's broken i've got these uh, little helicopter seeds that come down from the trees you know um but this probably doesn't look too dissimilar from you know the last video you guys would have seen it just like this it's been driven it's been it's I've, you know i've taken it you know i've driven it you know quite a bit since that video was filmed but since it was uploaded i haven't driven it much um the truck you guys would have seen maybe i mean this the the video of the truck was probably was kind of a niche video for my channel sure i've been doing car stuff and things like that recently but um i did upload a video of working on the uh uh air conditioning of the truck because i wanted to get that fixed before um, our daughter got here um and with that being said um you, i mean you can't really see the, the ac compressor maybe if i come over here you can see it but i got the uh yeah you can kind of see it i got the new ac compressor installed with the belt and i took it to a mechanic and a good friend of mine and he recharged the system and it works and it's been working fine i mean for those of you that watched that video and possibly want an update it worked so uh i kind of halfway know what i'm doing sometimes or at least i pretend i know what i'm doing and then i just get lucky take your pick um and you can't really see it but i reinstalled the uh the uh i don't know what you call it the uh, skid pan because on the z71s they come with a factory skid pan it's nothing special it's just plastic but i mean it's something moving on <laughs> the old cbr here um I just washed it. Uh, in fact, future me, roll montage. So yeah, I just washed it. Um, and, uh, the last person that rode this was Nick, um, as you guys would have seen in his, you know, kind of going away video. And for the sake of our daughter's arrival, I cleaned up the garage really well. We got, uh, the American flag up there. That's a new addition to the garage. Um, I just kind of straightened everything up. I cleaned a bunch of garbage off the shelves, got everything kind of halfway organized a little bit. Um, did a little bit of organizing in the, uh, toolbox. Um, and my wife did these really cool little sections right here on the uh, on my workbench. So if uh, any future videos I have, if you guys kind of uh, see, you know, that stuff in there, you know, point it out. Be like, ah, you know, I saw it. Uh, and maybe I'll get some more subscribers and followers on Instagram. Who knows? K24. Took the uh, crank girdle off. Checked the crank. It looks okay to me. Uh, I mean, I'm not a professional. Don't know what I'm doing. Not gonna pretend like I do. Uh, I've rebuilt engines before, as I said in the past, yada yada yada. I kind of like doing this sort of stuff as a hobby, um, for those of you that don't know. And uh, I, I think I kind of know what I'm doing as far as this kind of stuff is concerned. But I'm not a machinist, never have been. I work on computers for a living. This is just my favorite thing to do. Crank looks good to me. I put some uh, engine assembly grease on everything just to keep rust from happening because uh, I was getting a little bit of surface rust here and there. You can see there's actually a good bit in here, but I'm less worried about that. I just wanted the crank to stay in good shape. Bearings looked okay. There were just a few little problem areas that I was not happy with, but you know, it, it's to the, I, I know for a fact that if the crank does have some issues, it can be turned and we can put some oversized bearings in it. No problem. It's not that bad. Uh, I'm just, I just have some questions about it and I'd rather be safe than sorry. I really don't know where else to go from here. I cleaned up my bench vise. Uh, it was kind of rusty, like this whole, the whole uh, cylinder or whatever you want to call this, the rotating assembly um, for it. Every, everywhere that you see steel, the, the unpainted parts, kind of had a little bit of surface rust and corrosion on it clean that up the whole thing looks mighty spiffy if i do say so myself if you go back and look in my last video where i did the fuel rail you'll see that i was wearing a pair of oakley's just like these sort of close um i have lost that pair of sunglasses i do not know where they went 
This is my new pair. I ordered them from Oakley, obviously, and they are the same style, the fuel cells. I really, really like these style. They fit my face. And, you know, I've only ever, I have only ever purchased three pair of Oakleys. Um, the first pair I ever had was, uh, I think, flak jackets. And I actually received those from a friend. He literally just gave them to me because they were so old. Um, the second pair I had was a, a, a set of crank cases that I bought in Gatlinburg. Had those for about three to four years. And then uh, Christmas dinner, they were in my hoodie pocket. I sat down and they snapped in half right down the center line. It was crazy. Went back to Gatlinburg, you know, around that same time and uh, bought uh, my first pair of fuel cells. Had those for about five years. Now I can't find them. It, about, you know, maybe a month ago or, or more, I lost them. Put them down somewhere. Can't find them ordered these they came in monday super glad to have a, another pair um i just really wish i hadn't lost you know my first pair of fuel cells but anyway such is life that is pretty much it nothing else major has happened um just kind of been you know working uh working from home because of the virus hope all you guys are been staying safe and everything from that garbage kind of tired of being quarantined but it is what it is i'm truly blessed to be able to work from home i will say that you know a little bit of stress just just a little bit of stress but uh as far as everything uh, else goes i mean we're doing okay we're doing all right just you know the stress of becoming a, a dad for the first time you know the way the world is right now i don't think I don't think it's out of the ordinary to ha be a little bit of anxious and have a little bit of stress going on. I am overly excited. Like I'm just super stoked to, to meet my daughter. Um, it's going to be so cool. I less than 12 hours now, about 12 hours I'll be meeting her, which is crazy. So anywho, um, a lot of you probably saw my shotgun sitting over there. I'm about to film a Freilux Arms video. If you guys like guns and outdoor stuff, go check that channel out. I love that channel. Uh, love putting videos up on that channel. Um, I just didn't want to uh, put stuff like that on this channel because I'm actually shooting for this channel to become monetized because if the channel becomes monetized, I'm not trying to sound greedy or anything. I mean, I've been making videos for over five years now um, for this channel and haven't gotten a dime for it. I still enjoy doing it. I purchase all my own equipment. Nothing's ever been given to me. Um, but if I could get a little bit of kickback for, you know, doing something that I love, it, it would be nice. It really would be. So we're less than uh, 150 subscribers away from a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. Um, and I know that that's not insane growth or any any stretch of the imagination, but I'm proud of it I'm proud of the family that we've grown together and been able to create and uh, For you know, maybe the 30 of you that actually like watch this video. Um, I really appreciate it. I really do uh, Thank you all so much for the years and years of support and it's crazy that you know, I started I started this channel when I was um, you know, 19 or 20 years old and I'm coming up on, you know, I'll be 26 in June and now well, I'm about to be a dad. That is insane. It's crazy to think about. I just, it's happening. You know, I've known about, you know, uh, our daughter being on the way for nine months now and it's still just, it's still hitting me. Like it's crazy. Like, and we're so prepared, like, I mean, over the moon prepared, like, there's, we have nothing else to do. We just have to get up in the morning and go to the hospital. That's it. So, anyway, I think that's it, you guys. I don't want to ramble on. I'm super bad about that, and I always will be, but for those of you that don't mind it, I appreciate it. I really don't think there's anything else for me to say or do. I'm just, this is just, uh... Not the end, but really a new beginning. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's just, wow, it's insane. So, you guys will get to meet my daughter soon. She probably won't be saying much, but she'll be cute.